Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to go through a few purchases I made today. Um, some were impulse buys, some were parts of lots, some were parts of dollar bags, and um, we're going to kind of go through and talk about whether or not they are good or bad, if I would pick them up again, and why I did what I did. Um, so the first thing that we have is a um, it's peach luster pie plate from um, the Fire King Company. Now usually the luster is really worn off and although there is scratching on it, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, yeah, surprisingly these really don't go for much, but um, I picked it up because I had sold, sold one to a lady in Japan before and I thought oh, I should pick up another one. but. Um, the, the market is really flooded with these and they generally don't go for more than ten dollars a piece in good un, unused condition so um, this is not good right now although that could change at some time um, you know I paid two dollars for this and the reason why is because some silver plate is worth money I, I believe this was done by the Sheffield company um, it I was not able to identify the pattern but um, I believe it is antique and um, it it had kind of like rose floral and shell patterns to it which is th the shell I thought was really interesting it looks like silver plate on brass I don't know if you can see that in the photo there we go yeah so you can see where the the plate wore off on that um, but you know there are people that collect silver plate generally I try to avoid it but that looked quite old to me um, so brass <coughs> excuse me brass is not as popular now as what it was two three years ago but um, because it is a bird and um, from the mid-century I went ahead and picked it up anyway um, it's not marked but it is solid brass and um, I think it, it will go for ten dollars. I paid a dollar for it, and I thought that that was worth it. This was a mistake. I, I paid four dollars for this. When you see this glass pattern, that is called Daisy Button. If it is uranium glass in an unusual, um, like like a boat, it, it can be worth quite a bit of money. I, I was excited just because I, I recognized it as a Fenton hat, and bought it for four dollars not realizing that the world is full of these things <laughs> and um, even the uranium glass hats don't go for much that that one is not um, this was kind of a surprise I thought that this was Holt Howard but it's probably like a 1970s copy of the Holt Howard pixie stuff um, that being said mid-century 50s 60s pixies do sell and um, the, most of the I, I believe this sits on a cup it's probably called a cup sitter most of these don't have the little ladybug on there but um, it was in decent shape it, it kind of does this this type of thing um, and I thought you know I they usually go for about ten dollars and some of them go for more around Christmas time these are gonna start going pretty fast and I think I could probably get ten to fifteen um, but you know we'll see um, so this painting at the time I didn't notice but it has um, some smoke damage um, folk art is you know this is probably a little bit better than folk art but I still thought the folk art people would like this and folk art is generally art that is done with relatively little skill um, but there there was this either smoke or grease damage on top of the paint I tried to get it off with all kinds of stuff and um, I was surprised the paint didn't come off <laughs> but um, anyway I think if it was going to a house where people smoke maybe they won't mind because um, it still looks pretty nice from far away but up close you can see smoke or grease like kitchen grease damage not quite sure Th this I bought as part of a five dollar lot um, the the pattern is out there I did see a teapot um, with this in there but it's unmarked I was not able to find the pattern on replacements.com it's probably worth more like ten dollars but I thought somebody using Google lens will be able to find that and um, I will wait I didn't see another one out there when it, when I have the only one I usually will mark up a ten dollar item to twenty dollars um, I'm just gonna see how it goes so Gunnet Fashions New York can be good 
Um, this this probably isn't. I picked it up because it had embroidery on it. This shirt's actually green. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but I was not familiar with the fan, the brand Gun It, um, which was why I got this. It also has some rhinestones on um, the shirt, so I thought rhinestones and embroidery is a good combination. And I don't think I would have an issue moving it for twelve dollars, except for the fact that women's button-down shirts generally are not that easy to sell and that unless it's like for work or something and that one's kind of like a casual shirt so I, I, I don't know but I got it for five cents and you know if I, if I get it for five cents I list it so items with animals cats um, you know zoo animals zebras uh, giraffes leopards th th these are very popular this is probably from like the 1980s and although it's not um, it, it's kind of don't underestimate the the number of people that have bad taste is <laughs> kind, of, kind of what I would say um, I took lots of pictures it had quite a bit of missing pearls um, damage to the puffy paint and uh, but I, I think that somebody will still pay $35 for it it just it's gonna take a while for them to find it um, I did see somebody on Poshmark had the same jacket they were asking $30 but it was a different size and I thought eh, I think somebody will pay $35 plus shipping to get to get that jacket even with the missing pearls and you know whatever else is wrong with it I, I think I've mentioned before I, I usually will pick up all Wrangler shirts um, I don't think that this is vintage um, it was made out of polyester I think yeah 100% polyester I, I'm not familiar with this but um, it's probably a modern shirt I think it will still go for $12 because there are people that live in really rural areas and they cannot just drive to Walmart when they need something um, so I think it, it still has a chance to sell and I will leave it up um, I was not familiar with Vicki Wayne um, it was the first time that I saw it so I went ahead and picked it up just so I could try to do more research on the brand in the future I would avoid it but um, I thought that it would be a good like summer top and I put the word watermelon in because so I picked this up because it had lots of rhinestones on it and rhinestone jackets do sell um, I did see comps going for about $35 um, for the same jacket but I think offers were taken so I don't know what they actually ended up going for I think I had the only medium jacket so I went ahead and started it at 45 I'll probably start dropping it after a few weeks if I can't get it to move but um, it was in nice shape. I did take. A, I usually I usually will take a chest measurement because that's usually what people are are looking for. They're not really worried about it being too short or whatever. Um, and I hang these up, and when they sell, I take them off, fold the hanger, fold them up, and send them out. It's not a big deal. So um, this is Delft. It, the Delft bud vases are not very common um, and not not extremely rare either but um, you just don't see a lot of them so I, I put it up for forty dollars I think twenty to thirty would be more reasonable but um, I paid fifty cents for it um, at an estate sale um, and I picked this up too I, I like to pick up picture frames this is a smaller one it'll just be like four ounce shipping I paid fifty cents for it and I thought that it had a glass um, what do you call that? I, th I thought it had a, a <laughs> glass for the frame, um, but it was like yellow plastic, so I had to throw it out because it was cracked. Um, otherwise, I probably would have been able to get a little bit more money for it. Um, I, I do pick up towels with embroidery on them. I think that this there's probably a lot of these out there they're probably embroidered in India um, India did a lot of crochet and embroidery um, around the 1980s um, and and you know probably before that um, so I anyway I just took some pictures of these and I I paid about five cents a piece for them and I think that they will sell for I think there's four so I thought you know five dollars a piece I can probably get twenty dollars um, so we'll see how that goes but it 
the, that the linens with embroidery, they are tricky to sell. Um, I generally would avoid any of this serving spoon stuff um, unless you know you ran a comp and it was good. Um, these came with um, the, a mother of pearl a serving thing with sterling silver on it, and they they were kind of all taped together, which was why I have these. So when I, when I have stuff, I'll go ahead and list it, even if it's like slow items. I don't know if I'll continue to do that. I might make junk lots and you know put that in there I'm not really sure because now I have these um, like spoons slotted spoons do sell but I mean I just I don't really want to wait around for you know ten okay so this when there's a knife and a corkscrew like this it's called a waiter's corkscrew they're not valuable I I picked it up for 50 cents because um, it, it said Waterford Estate on it and uh, what does it say? Phil, pull, pull, pull taps. Um, so I just thought, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I do sell some corkscrews for a lot of money and I hadn't seen one with the knife before and so I just kind of wanted to figure out what, what that was called. Um, but it was a mistake because you can buy a brand new one for like seven bucks. This has um, kind of like a cascading fabric in the front. Um, Paisley's stuff is not really in right now. Um, I did try to figure out what the brand is. Um, did I not take a picture of that? I guess I didn't. Uh, oh, it is J. Lee. Um, anyway, I it sleeveless summer top. I don't know. Nine ninety nine might be kind of steep for what it is, but I thought we would try. It, it does have a nice pattern to it. Um, it's probably more realistic that it would go for like five or six dollars. I got it for cents, so you know, it it only takes me a few minutes to put a listing like that up. Um, I have sold this shirt before, not in the 1735 size, but um, generally large sizes of shirts with pearl snaps do do well. Um, this Corral West ranch wear, um, you know, as long as it's in good condition, um, if you see made in Korea and it's clothing, it's probably vintage, like 80s. Um, it this this will sell for between 12 and 20 dollars. Um, it. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. I did take a picture to show that it was extra long um, in the back and because um, some people are tall and they tuck their shirt in, they don't want it to pop out. It was like a little bit stained at the armpits, but not too bad. Um, it, not enough for me to capture it on camera. Anyway, so that was what I got. <laughs> um, so keep in mind, some of these items came in lots. Um, some of these items I got for five cents, and so you you wouldn't want to pick up some of you wouldn't really want to pay up more than a dollar for some of these things. But um, again, if I have it, I'll go ahead and list it um, if I think that it can sell for more than you know five dollars or so. But I don't I don't like to make a habit of only making a five or ten dollar profit because it really is not worth my time but at the same time I don't want to throw things away or um, it, it, I, th th this stuff kind of goes into like a death pile and when I'm run out, running out of things to list and I need to keep the store active I kind of will bring those in there um, put things in the auction for 99 cents to draw interest to the store I think all of those things work so anyway if you like this video please click the like button if you'd like to see what of this stuff sells click subscribe and you'll get a notification when I post the what sold video um, leave a comment and I'll see you next time